Hello, good morning, Assalamualaikum from Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Hi, my name is Siti. Today's video is uh, to introduce you all to my perfume collection. Okay, let's get started. So, uh, I started to um, collecting the perfumes uh, when I first came to Saudi Arabia in 2009, December. Um, I I don't have a lot of uh, collection actually, but I have few that I really really love. So the first one that I bought when I first came here, it was um, <clears throat> this one. This is Forever and Ever uh, Dior from Christian Dior. Uh, the fluid is uh, light pink in color and is going to finish already. I'm not reaching for this uh, perfume anymore because I have a new perfume that I love so much. And this one um, is uh, 100 milliliter, 3.4 fluid ounce. This is my first uh, perfume when I reach here. When I was in Malaysia, I have, I think, two perfumes that I really love. It was Lancome and clinic happy but when i reach uh, saudi i didn't use that to uh, perfume anymore this is my first perfume forever and ever from dior and then this one number two is dolce and gabbana the one i bought this a uh, few months after i reach uh, saudi um uh, this perfume also i did not reach anymore uh, but I still keep it as I still love the smells. It's very musky, powdery smells. And each time I'm using this uh, Dolce and Gabbana, I feel that um, I am very um, oriented, uh, sophisticated, professional woman. It's it's a strong uh, perfume, by the way. But I still love. It's just that I didn't uh, use it anymore. Dolce & Gabbana, the one. Then my uh, my newest, it's not newest, I think two years after uh, I settling here in Saudi Arabia, I start to buy a perfume from Chanel. And the one that I really love and admire so much is from Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. This is the original uh, Coco Mademoiselle because Coco Mademoiselle have few uh, types of the perfume and this is Eau de Parfum. Uh, this is 100 milliliter, 3.4 fluid ounce. Uh, this bottle is my number three bottles. Um, I always finish it all and my second bottle I gave it to my sister-in-law half of it uh, I'm using it half and then she said she love it so I just give to her um, the retail for this um, Coco Mademoiselle original version UD perfume is uh, increasing every year and the latest uh, price is 764 or 724 Saudi Rials for the UD Parfum, um, 100 milliliter. And this is the one. Uh, it's a clear glass with the light pink uh, fluids and frosted cover. The smells, uh, when I first spray it, the first note is um, orange blossom with the a little bit of patchouli and neroli also tonka bean when it's dry out it's really i can smell the tonka bean um it's a bit strong not too uh, it's a soft for me it's uh, for me it's soft and it's really long lasting on my skin uh, when it dries up and i'm using this not every day um Maybe alternate day when I, I'm going to work uh, because I'm I am a nurse working 12 hours shift so um, Like two days working and then two two nights off and then three nights working and then two nights off So when I'm go to work alternate day, I will use this Coco Mademoiselle original version 
Since Coco, I told you, uh, since Chanel uh, introduced Coco Mademoiselle, they are uh, keep on uh, introducing uh, a new thing for the Coco Mademoiselle, and one of it is this one. Came out in 2018, Coco Mademoiselle uh, UD Parfum Intense. This one also 3.4 fluid ounce, 100 milliliter. The price two years ago when I bought this, I think about um 500 plus saudi reals but for the latest one i'm not too sure i have to check um this one smells this one smells divine i love love uh coco mademoiselle intense stronger uh creamier than the original uh, coco mademoiselle uh, i use this uh, mostly during the winter time in saudi arabia winter season uh, from november to february and i'm using it uh, usually at night when i went out for dinner uh, dinner date or something like that uh, meeting my friends at night and this is my choice of perfume that i will choose still have this uh, orange blossom and um, patchouli a little bit i think a uh, more patchouli in this uh, i love this one so much and this is coco mademoiselle chanel intense there is a difference just a, a slight difference between these two uh, you see the coco mademoiselle original the cover the stopper is frosted uh, plastic and for Coco Mademoiselle Intense is clear. But for the sticker, you see the Coco Mademoiselle, uh, we cannot uh, read the font uh, clearly actually. But for the Coco Mademoiselle uh, Intense, we can read the font. Uh, white color sticker with the black font. Okay. And the color of the fluid also different. This uh, Coco, original Coco Mademoiselle is like uh, pink and Coco Mademoiselle Intense is like slightly light orangey. Okay, this is the two. And the latest introduction also uh, recently came out uh, in the market uh, Chanel uh, Mademoiselle uh, Chanel uh, department uh, perfume uh, introduced us to the new perfume and this is Coco Mademoiselle Lo Preve or it's a night fragrance. Um, I bought this two days ago and this is 50 milliliter, 1.7 free ounce and it retails for 424 Saudi Rials. Okay, uh, it's in a glass frosted a uh, frosted glass bottle with the um, clear um, cover this smells exactly like the original Coco Mademoiselle but very uh, really soft uh, smells really soft creamier light light very light smell I love this one so much even I just use it for three nights or two nights um, but I have to give a review after a few weeks I'm using this is unfair for me to give just for two or three days three nights using this um, I love this uh, I fall in love with this uh, night fragrance uh, Chanel uh, saying uh, noted that this night fragrance is for bedtime uh, it's not for the date out at night, you know, uh, go to um, party or go to dinner date using this. No, they said it's just for uh, bedtime. Uh, but as a consumer, and we are the consumer, we are the one who bought this, we are the one who buy this. Anytime we can use for any occasion, anytime, any days, it's up to us, right? So this is the newest uh, collection. Uh, newest collection of Coco Chanel Mademoiselle Lo Preve Night Fragrance. It's nice. Okay. Uh, the last Coco Mademoiselle that I have, uh, and it is the Coco Mademoiselle Original Version of Twist and Spray. Uh, this is for travel. I love this um, Twist and Spray so much, but I only have one um, Twist and Spray. 
for the Coco Mademoiselle. De uh, I saw in the Chanel website there is a Chanel Coco Mademoiselle Intense Twist and Spray. Inshallah, I will get to that. Um, maybe after a month, maybe I will see. And it's very easy. Just twist this spray, and then this is the opener, and we can spray from there. Just press this and spray. If you want to change the bottle inside, just pull this out and then put the new bottle. For each of the twist and spray in a box, there will be three bottles. One um, ampule, one uh, bottle of the perfume uh, came with this, uh, the host, this one this plastic white color and then another two is only the perfume 20 20 20 20 mils uh, each so 60 mils and this is twist and spray coco mademoiselle original version so finish with the coco mademoiselle uh, because i love coco mademoiselle so much that's why i have few of the uh, perfumes and also I have a body body care for the Coco Mademoiselle. I have um, another video uh, specific for the body care and also uh, for Coco Mademoiselle perfumes. Uh, I will put the link down there. And the last, no, uh, it's not the last. Actually, I have another two more uh, Chanel perfume and this is the classic one, Chanel number no. five. I bought this uh, two or three years ago, but I'm using it just few spray uh, when I'm at home because this uh, perfume, this smells is is too strong for me. Um, it's nice jasmine, uh, very powdery, um, and very strong uh, mask smell. That's why I bought only the small bottle, the 50 milliliter bottle, 1.7 fluid ounce. But I'm using it just uh, one or two spray only. Because it is classic. That is the reason I bought this Chanel number no. 5. Uh, the bottle also same like Coco Mademoiselle. Okay. Uh, but all cleared with the amber color fluid inside. And this is Chanel number no. 5. Okay, now the last for the um, Chanel collection that I have is from Chance and this is uh, Chance You Do Tendre. Uh, the purple, no, it's not the purple, the light pink uh, fluids inside and this is 50 ml, 1.7 fluid ounce. I love the bottle, it's very simple, round and the stopper is metal gold color and it's very heavy like a dice you can use as a dice as well so the um round ring is silver and the and the cover is um uh, gold color is a very good combination actually and the smell mm, <laughs> the smell is really fruity sweet and fruity um if I'm not mistaken, there is a grapefruit also, uh, one of the notes inside. When I'm using this, I always thinking of my childhood time, you know, full of happiness, not thinking about any problems. I just go to school and then study and then come back home. This is the very nice um very nice perfume and it's universal for the guys also and for the girls and it's very good you know it's a, a best um a perfume gift if you want to give as a, make it as a gift for a birthday or mother's day uh this is chance from chanel you the tendre okay we are done with the Chanel. So now I want to the last one uh, perfume from the uh, Maison House uh, Christian Dior. I have three. Rose Kabuki, Gris Dior and the biggest one is La Col Noir. So first that I bought from the um, Christian Dior 
um, Dior Maison is Rose Kabuki. It came with this round cardboard box, and inside is the perfume. Sorry, it's not okay. Rose Kabuki Christian Dior Paris. Um, it's light pink in color. Uh, this bottle is 125 ml bottles, 4.2 fluid ounce uh, with a magnetic uh, cover and uh, Christian Dior CD uh, name on top of the this one. Oh, mashallah. I fall in love with this rose kabuki because of the smell of rose is soft. It's not makes my uh, head uh, pain like headaches when I'm uh, Sm uh, smell this and also it's long lasting on my skin uh, the rose the rose smell mashallah is so sweet it's divine um, I love this so much this is rose kabuki retail price is 1050 Saudi Riyas for 125 ml bottles um, yep this is rose kabuki guys nice smell then uh, the second one that I bought from uh, Dior Maison is this big bottles actually I bought this uh, in Abu Dhabi Airport about two or three years ago two years ago uh, the price was 1500 uh, dirham and this is the bottles, the biggest. Uh, it's 250 milliliter, if I'm not mistaken. 250 milliliter bottle. The name is La Cour Noir, but I'm using just few times because I cannot stand the smell. Once I put apply it on my skin, I get a severe, severe headache. So this one only for keeping. I just keep these bottles, keep this perfume just for me to just to remind me that this smell was nice when I was in the airport when I reached Malaysia that, that day and then I, I can't stand anymore the smells this one also very musky powdery smells it's too strong for myself so I'm not reaching it anymore it really makes me a uh, headaches and this is La Cour Noir from Christian Dior and the last one that I want to show you from the Dior Maison is Gris Dior this is I'm using this almost every day Gris Dior from Christian Dior and the color is light purple this one's very sweet mmm very sweet smells uh, 125 ml bottles, 1050 Saudi Rials, very sweet smells, grapefruits, uh, fruity a little bit, uh, long lasting on my skin. That's why I love this so so much. Um, love it, love it. Okay, I think that's all for my um, perfume collection. I hope you all enjoy and then uh, give if you enjoy it please uh, press likes to uh, likes button and uh, thank you so much for listening to my uh, video uh, have a good day everyone uh, please take care of yourself uh, wash hands with um, uh, sabun with soap and water or use hand sanitizer uh, wear mask every time you went out from your house uh, my name is Siti again. Thank you so much for tuning to my uh, channel. Bye-bye. Assalamualaikum.